Hey, what's up guys, it's Mario back again with our YouTube video. In today's video, I am gonna talk about my favorite company, Tesla, you already know, baby. Anyways, the reason why I wanna talk about Tesla today is because it is up over 8%, huge move, and it comes because of several, several analyst upgrades, and a lot of it has to, of course, do with fundamental analysis. So I'm gonna go over the fundamental analysis of why it's up so much, and where the, the uh, I guess the prediction, where is the stock can move? Because there's definitely a lot of room for, for growth and move. And I'm gonna go over all those details. I'm also gonna go over the technical analysis, of what levels I'm looking to buy and what levels I'm looking to take profits if it hits those levels, guys, all right? Now, I wanna mention though, that a lot of this move has to do with quarter one, 2021 vehicle uh, production and delivery numbers. So I am gonna go over some details of that really quickly and kind of go over what the analysts think because that's really what matters. And they kind of go over their targets in terms of the price of the Tesla and what they predict it's gonna to go to. And all that is gonna be in this video, guys. So hey, don't forget to uh, smash that like button. I do appreciate it, guys. It does help support this channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe down below. I do post new videos every single week talking about the stocks or making moves in the stock market as of this week. So very, very important if you are an investor. I'll say, hey, let me share my screen and let's get started, okay, guys? All right, so what I'm gonna do first, guys, I am gonna share uh, my um, uh, thinkorswim uh, uh, screen. So here it is. And I'm gonna kind of quickly kind of go over what's happening. So uh, I know we had this huge consolidation uh, back in uh, you know, uh, September, 2020, huge move after we had some analyst upgrades as well. So, and it kind of topped out again in our 900, pulled back to 600 after the uh, the, the whole tech market pulled back and now we're continuing this trend. Looks like we kind of bottomed out at 600 and now we're continuing this trend. I did buy in the 600 levels that I've been holding and now we're trending. Now we're trending huge. And again, a lot of it has to do with the recent news uh, and the recent press releases that Tessa mentioned regarding their uh, production and delivery numbers. But especially this move today, a lot of it has to do because of analyst upgrades and analyst targets. So I'm gonna go over those, 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 uh, those fundamental analysis. And I'm also gonna go over after that what my levels are, what I'm looking at uh, in terms of uh, price levels, okay? So let's kind of go over those, 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 uh, those, those numbers. So here are the Tesla quarter one uh, 2021 vehicle production uh, and delivery numbers. Just to kind of put this in perspective, guys, these are for 2021. So we're talking about uh, the month of January, here the month of January, February, and March of this year. So these are the last three months of uh, production, vehicle production and delivery numbers. So of course, recent information, recent data, and that's what, we're, that's what uh, uh, the uh, analysts are looking at. So pretty much, uh, here it is. Uh, and they reported this on uh, April 2nd. So that was uh, pretty much uh, last week, uh, Friday, April 2nd, or actually two weeks ago, Friday, uh, April 2nd. So uh, in the first quarter, we produced over 180,000 vehicles and delivered nearly, uh, nearly 185,000 vehicles. We are encouraged by the strong reception of the Model Y in China and are quickly progressing to full production capacity. So. Pretty much what they're saying right here, which is very, very important, and I want to kind of mention is that they're not even in full production yet. They're not even in full production capacity, which is very, very important, okay? So they're closely pro uh, pro progressing to full production. So I, that's what I want to quite quickly, uh, you know, highlight. They're not at full production yet. So imagine, imagine when they get into full production. So right now, the new Model S and Model X have also been ex 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 uh, exceptionally well-received with the new equipment installed and tested in quarter one. And we are in, in the early stages of ramping, uh, ramping production. So again, Model S and Model X, uh, uh, they deliver around uh, 2,000 2, vehicles, uh, Model 3, Model Y. Uh, they produce 180,000 vehicles and deliver 182,000 vehicles. And overall, they delivered 884,800, almost 185,000, and they produce 108,000, vehicles. So I want to quickly mention, guys, just really, really quickly mention, Tesla right now, they're not at full capacity production, okay? So I want to mention that. And that is something what a lot of analysts are speculating. 
when Tesla does get at full throttle production capacity and they're they have all their factors running, the one in Shanghai, the one in Germany, the one in, uh, in Austin, Texas, the one in California, and the one in Nevada. What would that look like? Just imagine, guys. Just imagine that. Uh, and right now, Tesla is the number one electric vehicle, the number one EV car manufacturer, and it's going to be insane, guys. So I want to quickly put that in your minds because, again, the analysts uh, of reports that I'm going to go over now, a lot of it are going to talk about that, Okay. So now let's, let me go back and share my screen so you can uh, kind of take a look at that. So let's go over so what analysts think, thought. So uh, look at this article from Yahoo Finance. Actually, they, they got it from Reuters. So Tesla rallies after Canaccord upgrades rating says it, says it uh, that it's like Apple. Pretty much just this analyst from Canaccord is comparing Tesla stock with Apple. And, uh, and then this article was released on Monday uh, because they actually upgraded Tesla on Monday. So pretty much, uh, just to kind of go over uh, this, uh, this quick article really quickly, Char uh, shares of uh, Tesla climbed 3% on Monday after Canaccord uh, Genuity's raised is rating on the electric car maker to a buy compared its brand to Apple. A Canaccord uh, analyst Jed uh, Dorsheimer upgraded Tesla to buy from Hope and increases price target to 1,000, 1,000, okay? Uh, the second highest among 37 analysts tracked by Refinitiv. The company run by Elon Musk last traded at 697. And right now, if you look at it, right now it's trading at uh, six, uh, six, 762. Or you can look at this number right here, 762, you know. So definitely he's made huge moves in this article. Now Tesla, and this is what this analyst said, Tesla is rapidly, rapidly creating Apple uh, as ecosystem of energy products. Harmonizing is electrification to become the brand in energy storage. Uh, Dorsheimer uh, wrote in a client note focused on Tesla battery technology and residential energy, energy products. Residential energy products. Now, I did post a video a couple, like a week or so ago about how Apple, the company Apple bought uh, batteries from Tesla as a form to store electricity for their California uh, campus. So now they're looking to, and now of course, at, at Tesla does have an energy arm where they produce batteries, uh, solar panels for residential homes as well now for corporate. So that is a huge market that this analyst is now talking about. Now I will post a link of that, uh, that video that I made right here up here, so you guys can take a look at it. But let me, let's go back to this article and, and kind of go over more of what's happening here, okay? Okay, so um, he compared the brand Tesla has built around his battery technology to Apple's widely successful Think Different marketing campaign launched in the 1990s, um, and et cetera, et cetera. So let, 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 let's go over to another analyst. Again, that was kind of court analyst. Now this is another analyst, this is Webbush. Um, this article was actually released today, April 13, is Tesla stock a buy after uh, a turning a robust report in delivery? Now, we're going to talk about delivery numbers right now. <clears throat> so um, let's talk about here. It's, it started right here. Tesla delivered 184,800 vehicles, jumping 109% from a year ago. So it delivered 109% more vehicles compared to last year in the same quarter and 2.3% from the fourth quarter. Uh, it defied predictions for a sequential decline. Analysts on average had forecasted 164,000 deliveries according to FactSet. So it definitely beat delivery numbers according to what analysts thought and projected. Now the electric car leader beat estimates despite the growing number of electric vehicle competitors and the, and the global ship shortage. There's definitely a, a ship shortage on, on, on semiconductors which are used for cars. Now after the report, the Webbush analyst, Dan Ives, upgraded Tesla stock to outform from neutral and raised his price target to $1,000 from $950. Ives also added a Tesla to his list of best ideas. Uh, so this is, what, this is what he said. We now believe that Tesla could exceed 850,000 deliveries for the year, okay? So right now, so far, we've only hit 184 or 100, uh, close to 185,000 delivers for a year. So if you quick do a quick math, uh, 800, 850, 
minus 185. Again, I'm not putting the extra zeros. So they still have around 665,000 cars to be delivered for the rest of 2021. So we're talking about quarter, quarter two, three, and fourth quarter 2021. We'll see how that looks. So uh, they, they think they can see 850 deliveries for the year with 900,000 a stretch goal, despite the sh ship shortage and various supply chain issues lingering across the auto sector, as uh, uh, I wrote uh, to notes to a clients. Uh, so now let's kind of go over what other analysts think. So actually, let me see. Um, let me, I just want to quickly, quickly mention this uh, regarding the last earnings report. The company reported adjusted earnings of 80 cents per share, missing estimates of 90 cents. Still earnings leaped 95%, 95% from a year ago period, and was its sixth straight quarter of profitability. <clears throat> it's amazing. Revenue jumped 46% to 10.74 billion, topping estimates of 10.1 billion. Since hitting a record high of 900 on January 25th, Tesla is down 23%. So definitely some move uh, to the upside, you know? So let's kind of go over uh, what another analyst said. Now, this is another analyst. This is an article by The Motley Fool. Uh, so this is an article by The Motley Fool. And let me see why is looking all weird. Okay. For whatever reason, oh, this, this page is down, slowing down your browser. So, all right, let's not worry about that. So this is, this is pretty much what I want to cover. Meanwhile, Credit Suisse analyst Dan Levy released earnings per share estimates for Tesla quarter, uh, first quarter that were ahead of current average analyst forecast for the period. Levi also noted that he believes the company's vehicle deliveries in 2021 could be higher than expected. He, he forecasts, he forecast, he's forecasting 921,000 deliveries uh, this year up from about 500,000 in 2020. That is huge. This is this bullish take on Tesla's business added weight uh, to another analyst of the Mr. Remarks Monday. So, so this other analyst from Credit Suisse now he is thinking he's estimated nine hundred and twenty-five thousand deliveries. So, if you kind of think about it, guys, all these analysts are the the big, very very important thing that all analysts are looking and a lot of investors are looking is delivery production delivery numbers. How many cars can uh, Tesla produce and how many cars could they deliver? You know, because when they deliver a car, it's going to the customer and the customer starts using that car, you know, of course it creates and expands the brand as well. But that's what matters, delivery. Because when a car gets delivered, you know, they're going to have a residual income because, you know, clients are going to keep paying those cars. And that's where the money's at, the residual income. The more deliveries, the more residual income, the more clients are going to be paying those cars. Because... People are not, don't pay those cars until they get their car delivered. You know, very, very important. Now, I want to go over uh, quickly on the Finvis chart of uh, Tesla. And then I'm going to go over my technical analysis and what I think uh, are good levels to buy and take profit. So, okay. So let me open this up really quickly because we're having some issues with Finvis. Uh, let me open Finvis, Finvis really quickly. Uh, Tesla. Okay. So right now, Tesla made a huge move uh, up over 8%. And uh, these are, this is pretty much what I kind of want to look at. Other analyst estimates, again, Canaccordinity uh, from a hold to buy, a thousand price target, Webbush, a thousand price target. Um, and and pretty much a, a lot of uh, analysts have a similar price target. Um, so that's something that I, I want to quickly mention. Um, now, going back to, you could say, my, my chart and what levels I'm looking at. Actually, let me uh, close this really quick. There you go. So in terms of levels that I'm looking to buy, dip buy, if it does go to, 700 is a very, very important level. So if Tesla, for whatever reason, uh, pulls back to 700. I'm definitely going to be buying that dip. Uh, that's definitely a very, very important area of support. Uh, and the reason why is because you see all these levels, you know, it tested resistance uh, right there, kind of pulled back to 600, tested again, and then finally broke off. So when resistance becomes support, 
So right now, 700 is a very, very important level. And the area that I'm going to take some profits, not all of it, is going to be 800. So if Tesla ends up hitting 800 either tomorrow or by the end of this week, I'm going to be taking some profits. Uh, and of course, um, I do. Uh, there is a 900 price target level as well. And of course, there's a 1,000 thousand price target. So these are levels that I'm definitely going to be looking at. So what my plan is, I plan to take some profits at 800. If it pulls back below 800, I will dip buying, especially if it pulls back to 700. I'll be dip buying more. The next target, of course, is 900. And the next target, of course, is 1,000. 1,000. And that's definitely the key number, $1,000 uh, per share. And that's what most analysts are saying. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I hope you guys learned something from this video, guys. Again, all these videos are for learning and entertainment purposes only. Uh, let me know what you guys think about Tesla stock down below in the YouTube comments. Uh, again, don't forget to smash that like button. It does help with the YouTube algorithm. It does help support that this channel. I do appreciate that, guys. And also subscribe, guys. Subscribe to this channel down below. I do post new videos every single week talking about the, the most stocks that are making moves, the most hyped up stocks that are making moves in the stock market. So, hey, I uh, hope you guys who uh, like this video. Don't forget to uh, subscribe down below, and you guys will hear from me soon. Take care, guys. Peace.